We are looking at the grade 11 PRAC exam for RT for the Eastern Cape for November 2018 and we are dealing with question 1. This is part 1 of question 1. So question 1 deals with general programming skills, so basic stuff from probably your grade 10 here. So let's have a look at the first part here. We've got a, a program, you can see there are four parts to it, we're going to focus on 1.1 um, for now. And yeah, we have a look. Each waiter oh yeah, will receive a special reference which will be used on their pay slips and official documents. Um, this is a POS system. A code must be entered. So the waiter's name and surname must be entered into the text area. So it will be entered there. Um, and then the reference will be generated. The waiter reference will consist of the first letter of the waiter's name. Okay, so we're constructing some sort of special string. Um, followed by a full stop and then the surname. The POS code will be a randomly generated five-digit code from, they even tell us all the, the numbers that are in a five-digit number. That's very nice of them. So let's have an example. So if we type that in, this is the output that we are wanting. So there are two parts. The, the random code is easy. We can just use a random range um, function there. But for this one, we need to extract the first letter of the name and then find the space and then take whatever's after the space. So let's do that. So let's go to our program. So we're going to double click on the button over there. And we let's get the input first. First step, get the input. So we're going to get the, I'll call it S input of type string will be a string uh, variable and we are going to get that from the edit control now I'm not sure what which one it is let's put our mouse over it's edt waiter so edt waiter dot text now that is a string and that is a string so we don't need to convert anything okay great that's it now I'm going to assume that that is going to be like the word Mr. Long for example so let's assume that if we want to extract that first letter and then we want to copy whatever's after the space um, and get the surname. So we could break it, we could do it in one step. I'm going to break it up into two. I'm first going to find the surname. I'm going to actually extract the surname separately because that's the, the more challenging part of this question. And I'm going to copy, we're going to copy from S input. You can see from the string that you want, there's a, there's a index which is where we want to start copying and how many characters we want to copy so we want to copy from s input when do we want to start copying we want to start copying there okay now how do i find what that's going to be now i can't say it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight i can't say it's going to be eight i know it works for this scenario but it doesn't work for all cases we've got to make sure that this works for every possible case and the only way to do that is to know that we know that every name will be separated, the surname and name will be separated by a space. So we have to find wherever that space is. So we're going to find, use the pause function. And what are we looking for? We are looking for a space. And where are we looking for it? We're looking for it in S input. So remember with pause, it's first what you're looking for and where you're looking for it. So that's going to tell me the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's going to tell me position 7. But I don't want to copy from position 7. I want to copy from the 1 after the 7. So I'm going to say that plus 1. So it starts copying here. Okay. Now I want to copy the rest of the string. Now we can assume that the rest of the string will be the leftover of the surname. Um, you could make it the length of S input. You can make it a ridiculous number. Um, it's up to you. I'm just going to make it a ridiculous number. I'm assuming no one's got a surname longer than 100 characters. So copy from one after the space. So one after and copy for like 100 characters. So even though it's not exactly 100, it'll copy what it can. And store that in S surname. So that in this case will be the word long. Okay, now that I've got that, let's just double check our question. Now we want the first letter followed by dot, followed or period, or point, uh, full stop, then a space, and then the surname. So in that edit control, which we don't know what it is, so let's go have a look. EDT ref, so EDT ref dot text property, we want it to be the first letter of S input. So we can say S input square bracket one. That'll be the first letter. Followed by what a, a dot and a space, so we can actually put that dot and space in like that. Followed by the surname. 
variable that we use to extract. Okay, is there anything that they mention about capital letters and stuff like that? Uh, follow up, doesn't say anything about capitals and that, so that's a good thing. Then we need the waiter code, which is a random five digit number from there, from so that 10,000 is the lowest five digit number you can get. And 9999 is the largest five digit number you can have. Okay, so we are going to then say, hey, in EDT, again, I don't know what this edit box is. What's this called? EDT code. So in EDT code, in its text property, we are going to put a random number. Now I'm going to use random range. Now, luckily, it recognizes random range. If it doesn't, just a reminder that if you want to use random range, you need to include math, and they've already added math for us. So that's great. It means they wanted us to use random range. So, random range, let's have a look. It needs from that number to that number. Now, I know some of you are going to go, well, the lowest number is 10,000, and then the highest number is that. Now, That'll give you a lot of the right answers, but unfortunately, it'll go, it always goes to one before that. So you must always make sure that your upper limit is one extra. So I'm going to make it 100,000. Okay, so from 10,000 to 100,000, that means it'll go to one before then, which will be, that means that 99999 is a possibility. In the previous scenario, it wasn't. Okay, so it's going to generate a random number, but this is going to generate a random integer and this is a string. So we must convert this from an integer, from what it is, to what we want it to become, a string, so that it can be displayed into that edit control. I think that's gonna work. Let's see, we'd test it. Let's run it. Any errors? That's good, no errors. Let's test it. Now, over here, we're gonna put Mary Jacobs. And if I click that, boom, hey. And it seems to work. Now, obviously, your random code will be different to the results that they want. Okay, that looks good. For the rest of the videos for this exam paper, as well as other videos that can help you with Delphi, especially if you study in RT in South Africa, please go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and we'll keep you up to date whenever we post new videos. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.